Are you looking to spin the ball in PGA Tour 2K23 like this? A decent tempo. This is going to have a lot of spin. Come on. All the way. All the way. All the way, baby. All the way. Keep coming. Oh, there's the hole. Ooh, baby. Stick around as we go through all the different variations of spin on the different shot types and how you can use it to improve your game. Spin is something that you can control on every single shot, even if you are using a driver. Start by holding the left bumper on your screen. You will see this pop-up box in the bottom right-hand corner, and you can then manipulate your spin control with your right analog stick. Um, if you go down, you are increasing the amount of spin. Going up reduces the amount of spin on your shot. Notice how my yardage in the background here is actually changing distances as I am increasing spin, and this is on a driver. This will actually increase your carry the more spin you put on it, and it does so for almost every single club. It'll you know, become more and more marginal as you go down your club set here, but you're still are getting a yard or two until it eventually becomes obsolete right around the nine iron. Maybe you pick up a smidge of yardage, uh, but let's circle back to the driver. Say I want to try to clear these trees on Bay Hill number one. Well, let's just hit max power or hit uh, max spin rather and just go right up over them. So that is a key advantage of using spin off the driver. Now be be weary because anytime you do implement spin, notice my tempo zone. I have tempo turned off for this just for the demonstration purposes, but that gray area here in this big left circle, once I start to manipulate spin, it shrinks. You mean shrinkage? Yes! <laughs> significant shrinkage Same with that white area that is your perfect tempo and gray fast and gray slow tempo area if you are manipulating spin the more you manipulate it the more difficult it becomes to hit your tempo so where you're typically going to have tempo on you are going to be very cautious when this situation occurs here we are on the second hole at bay hill now let's test out the rollout distance distances especially on long irons when you're adding spin to them and see what the distance is the, the difference is from a stock yardage so i'm going to start with no spin at all on a standard four iron and see how how much this actually rolls out so this is going to land at 219 rolling out to 228 starts to curl back maybe nine yards or so keep in mind there are plenty of different factors that come into play here there's going to be the wind there's going to be the green firmness green speed the ball type all of these things come into play if we now go max spin remember this does carry a bit longer let's see where this lands 223 and it stops at 227 so four yards of rollout significant yardage difference on a long iron where you typically you're not thinking necessarily about spin because you're probably in your mind thinking about spinning a shot back, you can use this as a huge advantage for distance control on greens. Maybe you need some extra rollout. Maybe you need a little less. Uh, one last time, let's go back to the tee and let's do the inverse and let's see how much we can actually get it to roll out. And now if we're putting top spin on it, we're actually going to lose yardage. Let's see if it actually can reach the green. It isn't going to quite reach the green, but you can, you're going to see the action and the roll on this shot. Now it hits the fairway, so the kick is obviously a little bit different, but look at all this top spin and roll out as it hits this green and continues to roll. So it almost treats it a little bit more like a punch shot when you're doing this with a normal club. Here we go. We're in a bunker now. How about a splash shot? Let's see how much spin control a splash shot does. Let's do a standard one. Start with that. This is gonna land at 23, rolls to 31, okay? So that is eight yards of rollout with a lob wedge splash. 
Now let's go back, put the max spin on it. And now this is a lot different than 2K21. 2K21, you could uh, really control it with spin, but 24, and it stops at 29, so only six yards of rollout. And then one last time, this time with top spin on it. Oops. Let's do top spin, and let's see how much this one's gonna roll. 23, 24 again. Oh, look at this roll. Out to 34 yards, it's still rolling a little bit sideways. So you can you can really change uh, around the greens, get five, five, six yards of distance if you're maxing out your spin um, or removing as much spin as possible and try to maximize your rollout. Once again, conditions, huge factor into this. The firmer, the faster the greens, the more it's going to be important to control your spin. All right, let's, we have three more shot types to try. We're gonna do the flop, and then we're gonna do the chip, and then finally, the most important one, the pitch. But let's start with the flop. We have a typical flop shot, 40 yards from Michael Jordan on his club set. Let's do nothing with no spin here. We are uphill, so it's gonna affect it a little bit. 37, rolls out, kinda checks up. 41, so there is a four yard rollout technically there from its initial bounce. Let's do that same flop with full backspin. Thirty-eight, and it actually checks up and comes backwards a little bit. It stays at forty, almost came back to thirty-nine. So you can really see the checkup distance um, when you're playing a flop. Flops are very difficult. If you miss tempo, you <laughs> you are uh, not in a good place. And lastly, one last check. Let's do a flop with full top spin. You don't really see this too often, but let's test it out. 37. And actually, look at this one roll. Eight yards of rollout. So once again, use that spin control to your distance. You can change it six, seven yards by changing um, backspin or top spin. All right, another shot that's changed quite a bit from 2K21, just like the splash shot. So listen closely here. This lob wedge chip typically was about seven to nine yards carry in 21. Now we have a typical carry at about 25 yards. So a major distance uh, change in chipping. Okay, so we're gonna do our basic one without any spin control, 24. And this is actually gonna roll out now to 32 eight yards of rollout that is on a full chip shot but can you check it up like you did in 2k21 let's find that answer out for you right now we take our full lob wedge and let's check this out 25 it still rolls to about 30 so on the chipping it's very difficult you're going to want to do a lot of partial chips try to nail that tempo it's a bit of a struggle i know um, but it is much much less forgiving in this game as far as your rollouts you're not going to be able to check it up at seven to nine yards as you were in 21 and then one last um, attempt here the top spin as we have been doing 26 and now this rolls for this is going to go off the green so once again, major difference. You know, that could have gone for quite a, quite a ways to say the least. All right, we're here with our last shot type, the pitch shot. Maybe you're coming into a front sided pin. There's not much room and you want to spin it back. Maybe more at like this angle or something like that. You might want to put a lot of spin. Let's go through our rotation though and see how much action it plays um, for all the different spins. So that one, barely has any it's going into a slight little up up slope so it's going to be slightly altered but rolls to about 72. we go and we declare unplayable and we play max spin it is going to lose a it's it's going to check up quite a bit let's let's watch this so let's go full spin and lands 68 and then it grabs 
comes, it probably got to like 6970 and then came back to 66. So that's the best type right there. And let's do one more just to show you what happens with the top spin. And then we'll have one little bonus one. So if we do top spin here, Sixty-seven, and look at actually it rolls out quite a bit so you can really manipulate with a pitch shot all right let's do that one more bonus one so if you are pitching and this kind of goes for most shots really and you add loft you're gonna lose distance pitching significant distance loss the stock is 68 it goes all the way down to 52 also though when you add loft you are increasing the total amount of spin dramatically let's go full loft full spin and let's pretend that this pin is like somewhere down here in the front left i bet you this even rolls off the green watch this that thing really grabs and it's going to hit this slope and just want to roll because it has that much momentum Obviously, this green is sloped in that fashion, but you can really spin if you add loft. Big point being, add loft, get that extra spin if you want to. Be careful though, you will have that shrinkage and you don't want to miss your tempos. Missing tempos is the most important thing in this game. If you've enjoyed this video, it would help me in this channel out a ton if you give it a thumbs up. Maybe even hit that subscribe button. Uh, I do stream live every Monday at 8.30 for the Red Fast Review podcast, which is all about this game on Twitch. Feel free to go follow me there. Or if you want to watch me play my rounds, I play every Wednesday at 9 o'clock as well. Till next time.